Yeah, you did this. Hello everyone. This week you're going to learn how to save your air mattress from a feline. Yeah, this wasn't your toy. This wasn't your toy to have. This is your punishment. Yeah, I know. So before she decides to rip my head off, I'm gonna let her go. So before she takes my head off, we're gonna go, I'm gonna let her go, and we're gonna learn how to plug the holes created by this girl's nails. Yeah. Enjoy for a few moments watching my adorable demon spawn put some more holes in this mattress while I narrate. Okay, first things first, we have to find the hole. Luckily for me, I was able to find the hole pretty quickly. Okay, actually, my cat heard the air coming out and kept pouncing at the hole. After a close inspection, I found it as well. So, let's do what I would like to think most of us would do and patch it up with some duct tape. In the moment, I thought I struck gold, but there are some problems with this approach. The main one is that the surface of the air mattress is fuzzy with this felt kind of substance. That doesn't give the tape a great layer to adhere to, which is why I woke up the next morning with my ass <laughs> touching the floor. After that great night of sleep, I went to go check my beautiful work. Yeah, beautiful. So that didn't attach. Time to Google some answers. In my usual fashion of reading the first paragraph of the first article of my Google search, I learned that sanding the felt off wouldn't damage the mattress and is a common way folks go about patching these things up. I grabbed some sandpaper and got to work. This is going to take a while and I don't have the budget for montage music, so... After a close inspection of my work, I proceed to add the duct tape. Oh, yeah, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. I, I proceed to add the duct tape back over the hole. Y yep. Thank you. Amazing work, I know. Go, go away. Oh, I, I need more? Yeah? One more? Okay, one more. Turns out cats aren't the best inspectors because I woke up the next morning to a floppy bed once again. Beautiful. Okay. Third time's a charm. When in doubt, there's always one method I like to fall back to. See, in my experience, most problems, whether it's securing some pipes together or fixing a broken airplane wing, those problems can be fixed with duct tape. But when you really need something to hold, that's when you pull out the hot glue. So what we're going to do here is hot glue around the hole and then duct tape over it to make the world's cheapest composite patch. Yep, this stuff when compared to carbon fiber gets you more bang for your buck. I base this off of zero facts and all my broken memories of working with carbon fiber. Have you ever gotten a splinter from carbon fiber? It sucks. It really, really sucks. Oh, by the way, that was hot. Yeah, that was stupidly hot. Don't do that. Wear some gloves. I really need to make a disclaimer graphic about these things. Okay, let's try this again. I have hope. I mean, look at that. that that's that gotta hold, right? Many hours later. Yep, that didn't hold. But I did find my best fix yet. I used something called T-Rex tape. Got it for free at a Tough Mudder event. It actually lasted pretty well. It was the first night my butt hovered securely over the floor. This is about all the footage I have of that, but I'm sure you wanted to watch me tape things again, right? This is fun. We're having fun. Okay, what I really need is a permanent fix. So after five more minutes of research, this is what I found. Air beds are made of PVC or polyvinyl chloride, which belongs to the vinyl family. No, not all vinyls are PVC, but all PVC is vinyl. So this vinyl repair kit will do the job nicely. There's already an adhesive on the patch that is made to bond with the vinyl on the air mattress, but I like to overkill it, which brings us to our next product, vinyl cement. So really, I'm replacing the hot glue with cement and the duct tape with an actual vinyl patch. I'll even link to both the products in the description. In the process of fixing this hole, some new holes magically appeared around the air pump. Okay, more like a big tear. What a lovely day to test out this new cement. Alright, now let's take off that T-Rex tape and put on the proper solution. Once again, we have to prep the area, which involves me getting all of the adhesive junk off. Enjoy yet another low budget montage. Oh, 
finally, okay. First, let's get that cement on there and then a patch I've cut to size. The adhesive comes in these long strips, so really just cut what you need. I overkilled it here. You probably only need about half an inch of overlap around the hole. Lucky for me, that cement takes 24 hours to cure, so I got to sleep in my normal bed for the night. As you can imagine, my girlfriend has of course missed me kicking her off the bed every night. Anyway, let's see if this holds. You better hold. Best way to check for leaks, or so I've been told, is with some soapy water. So I checked this patch with some dish soap and water that I mixed together. This fix was once again cat approved. And who would have guessed the internet isn't full of lies, it actually worked. Now, this here is one of them fancy beds with a silent pump to keep it inflated in the night. I noticed that the secondary pump never turned off, which probably meant there's another leak. Let's pull out the soapy water again, which now in hindsight, I don't recommend you do this. It was actually a huge waste of time. I'm guessing the felt just absorbed the soapy water and didn't let any bubbles form. However, it did work around the pump where there wasn't any of that felt. Catch that? How about now? Well, I patched that up with some more cement, tried sleeping on it again, and still noticed the pump staying on, so I decided to kick it up a notch. Yep, if that soap didn't do the trick, drenching the whole thing in water sure will. Well, I found the other hole, and instead of putting y'all through the anguish of watching me fix it, I'll let you imagine how fun it was. Silent, but deadly. Okay, let's go back to me struggling to find love with the cats. For the end of this video, I brought the cat that I like more. My favorite cat. Yeah. Yep. She hates me too. Yeah. She doesn't hiss at me. As you all know, the best way to have your guests leave your house is to have them sleep on an air mattress, especially one that's broken. But I'm not that terrible to our guests. I want them to be able to sleep with a not broken back so they can't sue me the next morning. So hopefully you've learned a few of the right and the wrong ways to check for holes in your air mattress. I definitely don't suggest using soapy water all over the top of the air mattress. That didn't work. The hose seemed to work a lot better though. Join me next time where hopefully I won't be fixing something broken and I'll actually be doing a project that I want to do. See everyone.